Hey, it's Peter from uh, Weekly Options Advisory and ShadowTrader.net. So I thought we'd check in with the major averages and also, more importantly, the 11 sectors that make up the S&P on this first day up of a bounce, which feels to me like it's not going to go very far, but I could be wrong about that. We'll have to see and see how it plays out. This is just day one here. You can see we kind of closed relatively close to the mid-range off of short covering. Eight has pinched through the 21, so until we see kind of a change in that, or at the very least until the market can get back up over the eight, then you have to assume a more bearish stance. Um, pretty easy to use these simple moving averages. Well, they're exponential, but it's a simple concept. But using these eight and 21 exponentials for that reason, I think, is a really good way to go. Same exact situation in the NDX where you had the pinch down through. And again, no reason to change tone, I don't think, unless price can get back up above the eight, right? Just keep it, uh, keep it simple in that manner. Now, looking at these 11 sectors, you can see I've got them here. Let's just click through these for a moment. Tech is the heaviest weighted sector, and you can see it's pretty weak. What I do is just very <clears throat> simple TA in looking at are we inside of range or outside of range. And notice the technology could not get outside of range. And I hope that you noticed in the prior chart when I was showing you the NDX is that the NDX also did not get out of range. Only the S&P moved above Friday's high. The, the uh, NASDAQ did not. So that, I think that's a sign of weakness um, in tech. Um, the healthcare is the second largest sector, and I don't know why that's not here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I guess it's not there. Let's add that in. All right, let's add in XLV. There we go. Healthcare, very weak. I mean, a weak close, kind of a bounce up above the eight, but close kind of weakly. Uh, financials, which have been very strong, they've been an outperformer. They were actually strong today, and they are above the eight and above the 21. And consumer discretionary is well below, not moving. And industrials are well below. They closed below. They kind of ticked above the eight. Communications were very weak today. That's XLC. You can see they actually had a red candle. And then here's where things get interesting, is that when you look at like the back end, I call it, of the S&P, it's where things were really strong. So for instance, consumer staples, very, very strong day, uh, along with energy, very, very strong day, right? Utilities, very, very strong day. This is an interesting chart as well because it's really forming this cup here, I think, which should go higher, right? I've been a bull on utilities for a little while now. I have a pairs trade on that's short technology and long utilities, and I've had that on for, I don't know, three weeks now or so, and it's doing quite well. Um, but I think utilities just by themselves continue higher uh, through 2024. I think, it's, I think that's the trade or it's a trade, I should say. Uh, materials, I think relatively weak. And finally, real estate, all right? And real estate was also quite weak today. So of all the sectors I just showed you, where was the strength? The strength was, if you look at this chart, was in the sort of back end of, of the sectors where they have far less weight. And I think that's important, is that this defensive stuff, if that's all the market has, is that it's just this kind of more defensive stuff rallying, which all together, when you add up the percentages, right? This is six plus four is 10, plus another two is roughly 12, plus another two and a half, right? You've got like, let's call it 15% all together. These four sectors make up only 15% of the market. All the weight is really here. You need these sectors to rally, of which only financials are rallying. The rest are relatively weak. So to me, the takeaway from all of this is that for now, the market probably stays weak, and this is just a short covering bounce that we're seeing here, and we should get a rollover. But again, if I'm wrong on that, what's going to tell me that I'm wrong? It's very simple. I don't need to be guessing or wondering, well, is it or isn't it? Just keep it simple. Price is either going to hold above this eight period moving average at some point and then move to the 21 or run up to the eight and, and pull back regardless, you know, different scenarios. But Either way, in a bullish scenario that changes the tone, we would have to close a bar back above the eight. So that's it. Keep it simple. All right. Have a great rest of your evening. 
Hey, this is Peter from ShadowChair.net, and I just wanted to thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this content, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. And if you'd like to trade live with me every day in my weekly options advisory, then check out the link in the description below. I wish you good trading, and I'll see you in the room.